What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to plot points on the coordinate system or coordinate plane. And we're gonna start with some kind of easier-ish examples and then we're gonna get into some that are not so obvious, okay? And to not make this video too long, I'm just gonna do the examples that you see in red, okay? So A through I. And then in the next video, we'll cover the rest because they're a little bit more complicated and that way I don't destroy your precious, precious mind in just this video. All right, so let's get into this. So first thing you need to understand about this Cartesian coordinate system or rectangular coordinate system is that it has two axes, okay? And these two axes are basically just number lines. So one runs horizontally and one runs vertically. So the horizontal one is your x-axis and the vertical one right here is your y-axis. Okay, and then this point right here where they both intersect is called the origin, All right? So whenever you plot any points, you always start counting from the origin. You, you always start from this spot right here. Okay, and also just to clarify, these axes have a positive and negative side. Okay, so you can see, so let's talk about the x-axis first. So you can see we have positive one, positive two, positive three, positive four, right? All the way to basically positive infinity. So from the origin right here, so this is zero, Going that way, this is the positive x-axis, or the positive x-direction, okay? And then going the other way, as you can see, the numbers are negative, right? Negative one, negative two, negative three, right? All the way to negative infinity. So this is the negative x-axis, or the negative x-direction, right? And it's the same thing with the y-axis. So this right here would be zero, okay? And then when you go up, you can see the numbers are increasing in the positive direction, right? This is positive one, positive two, positive three, positive four, right? So this is the positive y direction. And then same thing going down, you can see it's negative, right? Negative one, negative two, negative three. So then this would be the negative y direction. Okay, and one thing I wanna mention about these coordinates, so these are all basically coordinate points, okay? So the way you write coordinates are in this form. So it's always between some parentheses and then it's in the order X comma Y. Okay, so the first number that's listed always tells you how many spaces you move along the X direction. And then the second number that's listed always tells you how many spaces you move along the Y direction. Okay, and in case you need a quick little way to remember if which one's X and which one's Y, well, you can think of it as you always list this in alphabetical order, okay? So when we're reading or writing, right, we read left to right, okay? So then what comes first, X or Y? Well, X comes first, obviously, right? So it's listed in alphabetical order. So these are always listed as X comma Y, okay? So keeping that in mind, let's plot some points, all right? So let's start with point A right here. So point A, is at the coordinate three comma five. Okay, so remember, this first number tells you how many spaces you move along the x-axis, and this number tells you how many spaces you move along the y-axis, okay? So here we have positive three, positive five, right? So again, you always start at the origin right here. Okay, this is the origin. And then we're gonna move three spaces in the x-direction, positive x-direction, right? Because it's positive three. So we're gonna go one, two, three. And then we're gonna count five spaces in the positive y direction. So then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so then this point right here is the point three comma five. So this is point A, All right? So not too bad, right? Let's go to the next one right here. So point B. Okay, so again, this first number tells you how many spaces you move along the x-axis. And the second number tells you how many spaces you move in the y-axis, right? So again, starting from the origin point, so this time we're gonna move five spaces in the X direction. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna move three spaces in the positive Y direction. So we're gonna go one, two, three. Okay, so then this point right here is point B. All right, let's go to the next one. So point C, as you can see, has a negative number, right? So this means we're gonna move negative two spaces in the X direction and then positive four spaces in the y direction, okay? So again, starting from the origin, so negative two spaces in the x direction, right? So we're gonna go negative one, negative two, and then four spaces in the y. So then one, two, three, four, 
Okay, so then this point right here is point C. All right, next one. So D, we're at four comma negative two. Okay, so we're gonna move four spaces in the X direction and then negative two spaces in the Y direction. Okay, so again, coming back to our origin, four spaces in the X direction. So one, two, three, four. And then negative two spaces in the Y direction. So we're gonna go negative one, negative two. Okay, so then that spot right there is point D. All right, let's go to the next one, so E. So E is at negative five, negative seven, okay? So again, we're gonna move negative five spaces in the X direction, and then negative seven spaces in the Y direction. So negative five in the X direction, right? So negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. And then negative seven spaces in the Y direction, okay? So negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven. Okay, so this point right here is point E. Okay, now let's move on to a couple that are a little trickier. So here, point F is at seven comma zero, okay? So again, this tells you how many spaces you move in the X direction, and then this one tells you how many spaces you move in the Y direction, right? So again, coming back to the origin right here, we're gonna move seven spaces in the X direction. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then we're going to move zero spaces in the y direction okay so that means we're actually just going to stay right there right we're not going to move up or down we're staying right there we're moving zero spaces in the y direction so we're literally just staying right here okay so this point right here would be point f that would be seven comma zero okay now let's try the next one so point g so this one is reversed right this one's at zero comma seven so again, this one tells you how many spaces you move in the X, and this one tells you how many spaces you move in the Y. So zero comma seven, right? So coming back to the origin. Okay, so we're gonna move zero spaces in the X direction. Well, if we're gonna move zero spaces, that means we're just staying right here, right? Because remember, this is where our zero is, right? So we're just staying right here. And then we're gonna move seven spaces in the Y direction. So then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so then this point right here is zero comma seven. So this point is point G. Okay, now let's try some fractions. Let's try and plot some fractions. So point H is at one half comma eight. So we're gonna move one half in the X direction and eight spaces in the Y direction, right? Positive Y direction. So again, we always start from the origin right here. So we're gonna go one half space or half a space in the X direction. So we're gonna go over to right here, right? Because if this is zero and this is one, then a half should be right between those two, right? And then we're gonna go up eight spaces in the Y direction. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so then this point right there would be one half comma eight. So this is point, write it right there, point H. Okay, and let's do one last one with some fractions. So point I right here is at negative five halves comma negative 11 halves, okay? So the easiest thing to do here is to first convert these into mixed fractions because those are a little easier to plot, okay? So I'll rewrite it right here. Okay, so negative five halves, that's the same thing as negative two and one half. Okay, and then negative 11 halves, that's the same thing as negative five and one half. Okay, so now these are a little easier to plot, right? So we're gonna go negative two and a half spaces in the X direction and then negative five and a half spaces in the Y direction, okay? So again, starting from zero, right? We're gonna go negative two and a half in the X direction. So negative one, negative two, and then negative two and a half would be right there, right? Between negative two and negative three. And then we're gonna move negative five spaces in the Y direction. So we're gonna go negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, and then negative five and a half would be like right there, right? Because this is negative six, this is negative five, so negative five and a half is right between there. Okay, so that point right there would be point I.
So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.